What's up guys, it's Crash, and I've been thinking about making this video for several days, ever since on the scope, we talked about all the modes and maps and things coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It got me to think, could this be spreading the studio really thin? And I started making that video, and then an article came out today as I was getting ready to push it out, uh, talking about just that from Ralph Alv, who is definitely uh, one of the most credible uh, leakers or insiders for Call of Duty Modern Warfare in this uh, development cycle. He's been spot on uh, with everything from when dates are gonna be to how long the trailers are gonna be and stuff like that. So he put out like, an article talking about uh, crunch time and some of the same rumors and rumblings that we heard from DICE when it came to Battlefield 2042. So I wanted to make this video, I just have a few things to look at on the screen and share with you guys. And then I really wanted to make this video to hear from you and what you guys think of all this, where you stand on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warfare 2 where you're at with Battlefield and everything in general uh, with some of the AAA FPS is out there so let's go ahead and frame this up if you guys already caught the discussion we talked about on the live show uh, with the maps and modes already I'll time tag stuff below when we talk about Ralph's article but for those of you who haven't yet I just want to frame uh, frame out and talk about some of the maps and modes and maybe you'll get an idea why I'm a little bit worried about it I initially want to be excited but we've been burned so many times that you start to get like a little bit nervous when you hear about this so it's a very ambitious title uh things like ambitious and live service are, are kind of like trigger words for me now uh so anyway let's look at this this is an article from deserto talking about all the maps and modes and uh this might give you a little bit of an idea so one of the modes that's unlike anything we've seen before is this prisoner rescue mode. Now, personally, as a Rainbow Six Siege fan, I'm pretty excited about it. It says, among the new additions is a prisoner rescue playlist. Taking heavy inspiration from Rainbow Six and CSGO, this mode splits players across attacking, defending teams. Uh, we also heard there are some gadgets that lend to this, like uh, remote cameras, ladders, repelling, a little bit of destruction, uh, all the stuff like that that you normally associate with a game like Rainbow Six Siege in Call of Duty. So a really tactical uh, game mode sounds like a lot of fun. I'm excited about it, but with all that stuff comes a lot of programming and coding. The other thing that's coming out, Knockout, that's kind of like King of the Hill. I don't think that's too big a deal. Uh, I just highlighted Gunfight coming back because I'm excited. I enjoy Gunfight. Um, so this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. With Modern Warfare 2, Infinity Ward is set to divide maps into three distinct categories. Four maps are your standard 6v6, we're used to seeing that. <clears throat> battle maps are larger spaces built for more sizable lobbies akin to ground war, while large battle maps are the most expansive of them all, exclusively designed for the biggest modes to offer. We also heard from Ralph that there are going to be a lot of mechanics that they've updated, such as how things interact with water. Uh, vehicles are going there. <laughs> the funny thing is, it sounds like there's going to be more naval vehicles than are in Battlefield with this Call of Duty. They're doing a lot of stuff with vehicle mechanics as far as when vehicles get exploded, for instance, they're supposed to be like the chassis or the husk of the vehicle is supposed to remain as cover. So there's a lot of new mechanics and destruction uh, that are allegedly coming to uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Here's some of the maps. Again, you can. I'll link this article below if you wanna look at some of the maps. They don't really tell us a whole lot. So that got me to thinking, Is the big question I had is, is this Call of Duty have something for everyone or is it going to be too ambitious try to do too many different things and kind of fail and spread the studios too thin i was exactly what i was thinking about and uh ralph put out this article i'll link it below as well modern warfare 2 should fans be worried so there's some really interesting quotes from employees and former employees in here so we're going to take a look at it he says the canary in the coal mine there's several long tenured leaders at infinity ward have resigned in protest against working conditions and pay discrepancies to make up for the lost talent a high influx of employees were hired at an associate level and others with no prior experience in the industry so a lot of people left they hired people in as associates and one of them went on to tell ralph it felt like there was a bit of an old guard a kind of click driven environment where you respected what seniors wanted it left a lot of new hires feeling disregarded and lost we've heard much these same things uh, on Glassdoor about DICE and EA in the development lead up to Battlefield 2042, like almost almost verbatim. Some of this is uh, talked about from former developers um, at DICE. And then uh, another former employee went on to say, I love the team, but I do hate how they manage people. They like to use and abuse people. A lot of talented individuals, a part of the team and several departments will be breaking up after this game is shipped. I guess they're gonna see it through. So keep that in mind. It should be a big year for Infinity Ward, 
but after this next title i don't see cod doing well in general so a lot of people it sounds like they're going to see this project through and then you could see a lot of turnover and people leave we know that allegedly there's a gap in 2023 where we're not going to see a new call of duty title it could be interesting after this one to see where everything shapes up it says they've adopted a planning to crunch policy it's a deliberate part of the development process that exhausts both high profile and lower ranking employees alike Do you guys see what i'm saying about all these different modes you have the siege type mode you have gunfights uh you have the three different sizes of maps ground war with destruction vehicle mechanics new swimming water mechanics allegedly coming uh single player multiplayer co-op and then you have the the uh potential dmz mode that's supposed to be coming out in early 2023 so that's what i'm talking about about being spread too thin on one hand i'm excited for all the different modes and things to try out and i'll be able to maybe look for the tactical side of call of duty like that search and destroy gunfire hostage rescue i like that kind of stuff with the triple a experience the tarkov mode could be awesome but at the same time like that's a lot of new stuff to try to get if you have crunch time if you have uh, unstable management with different clicks and people not listening to developers employees we've seen how that turns out so uh call of duty's formula has a stealing this kind of puts a bow on it fps games are boundless you can do anything with them kind of like what happened with battlefield he says you can only do so much with the formula before there's no room left to expand or innovate before it starts feeling like less like call of duty so there's a fine line between keeping the identity of your franchise and innovating and keeping it fresh year after year which i'm sure is a massive massive challenge but anyway guys I really wanna hear from you guys what you think about all this stuff going on. Like I said, I'm torn between being excited for all the different modes and worried that there's a lot of people that need to do a lot of work here at the end to pull all this stuff together. So let me know what you think. Since you made it to the end of the video, I super, super appreciate it. Think about subscribing if you wanna come back for more FPS news. We got some really cool videos planned. And then the next live show on Monday should be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.